Hi, I'm Fusion360 Evangelist Paul Sohi, and in this video I'm going to show you some great ways that you can share your files out of Fusion360. So let's say you're collaborating with somebody who isn't using Fusion360 but is a part of the design process. Getting them to be able to see your files is really easy. You can see I've got my data panel open already over here, and I'm in the People tab. I can just add them by their email address here, and they'll get an invite to the project, and we'll be able to view all the files online. They'll get access to Fusion here and see all the files in the project, the details, activity, and all the other same stuff that you would expect to see inside of the hub. They'll also be able to upload files and add things to your calendar and discussions. Now let's just click on the file that I just had open to give you an idea of what they'll be able to view. So from here, you're obviously open to, able to open it inside of Fusion 360, but you can also view it in the browser too. Here, somebody you're collaborating with will be able to mark up the file, leave comments, hide markers, comment up here, share the file, download it, and also roll back to previous versions of the file. If you have any animations or any simulations, they'll also be able to check those out too. So it's a pretty handy way of collaborating with people who may not necessarily be part of the CAD or design process. If you're working on an open source project and you want to share the file out without manually adding everybody in one at a time over here in the data panel, then what you can do is go to File, down to Share, and you can share a public link. You can also add your projects to the Fusion 360 gallery as well as publishing to GrabCAD which will give you a CAD neutral format. But if you go to share public link, you'll get this guy up here and you'll have a unique URL just for your file, as well as giving the, you the option to make the file downloadable or password protected if you want to make it password protected. So from here, what I'm gonna do is copy this link and paste it over into my browser. Now this looks very similar to the browser version accessible from the hub with the key differentiation that people can't leave markups or comments because this link isn't uh, connected to your project, but rather only a way to view the file and download it too. And from here, people will be able to download it in a Fusion 360 format, as well as Inventor and some CAD neutral format types too. They'll be able to check out animations and your simulations. And you won't need to create a new link each time this link is going to synchronize with any changes you make inside of Fusion. So I'm going to jump back to Fusion now. And I'm going to change the appearance here. So I'm going to right click and I go down to appearance. And I'm going to try this out with just a solid mahogany top. And I think that looks pretty cool. So all I got to do now is just save the file. And this is going to get synchronized with the servers. And once that synchronization is complete, once I refresh the link, that's also going to change too. So I'm just going to pause the video here for a second while that synchronizes, and we'll be right back. OK, you can see that the file is synchronized now, and that mahogany top visualization is carried over too. One of the great ways of using this, particularly with an open source project, is that you can create assembly instructions as storyboards and rename these. So currently mine are only named storyboard one, but you could put step one, step two, and so, so on and so forth, and create a full on animation of how the thing comes together for somebody who might be building the project. One of the other great things you can do is if you're planning on hosting this somewhere, or if you want to show the file off as an embeddable, if I jump back to the hub and go over to, uh, I'm going to go back to the overview. And from here, if I click on share, I can turn share on and go over to embed. And under embed, you can see you've got three resolution options and an HTML5 copy paste code, which you can put straight into the website. And from there, it'll be embedded in the website. And you can also include all those download options, etc. if you want to, and people can see the file there too. One of the ways that I've used this right now is if I jump over to Weevolver and go to the Hackberry website, I'm going to click on result here 
And at the bottom here, you can see that we're, we've embedded the 3D file of the, um, of the bionic arm. So the hackberry is viewable. The animations that I've created of starting to make an assembly here are visible too. And the files are hosted so people can download this and check it out anytime they like. So that's some of the great ways that you can use the share tools. Like and subscribe and I hope you found this video useful. Thanks again.